All right, let's make some pre-made stir fries on the griddle, huh? Our griddle's right around 350, 375. I got some ground beef going down. It's a 80-20, no specific reason I got this ground beef other than it was probably on sale. So if you want to use something with less fat, go ahead. Something with more fat, knock yourself out. And whoa, we're going into the ground beef here. Um, spread it out thin here, kind of get some color on it. So I smash it down on the griddle. And uh, then we'll check out what we got here. I got coleslaw. That's just to help bulk this up. Really, this ginger garlic kit is the stir fry kit. Um, no meat included. Obviously, I had to buy that. Comes with a little packet of sauce in there and then a bunch of veggies. So it's pretty nice. It really, you know, it says cooks in six minutes on there. It was only like, I think like five bucks, six bucks. It really wasn't bad. So, you know, you could obviously use chicken or you could use ground pork or or whatever you want, shrimp, you know, spice it up any way you want. I just went cheap and easy with the ground beef. We're going to move it over to the side to make room to put everything down in the middle. Then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the griddle. We're going to turn that down low and then turn the right side off where the beef is just going to stay warm. Here goes down all the veggies in the ginger garlic kit. Good assortment here. You got carrots, uh, broccoli, some sugar snap peas, also some cabbage in there. Really a nice blend. Um, can't complain. It's pretty convenient rather than buying all these and cutting them yourself. So a little bit of Johnny Season Salt. Not sponsored. Wish I was. Help a Johnny out. Just throwing it out there. If you know anybody at Johnny Season Salt, let them know I'm interested. Um, <laughs> I'm paying. If you're looking for a guy named Johnny that drinks and cooks on the griddle, I'm your man. So put down some oil, avocado oil. Oh, we got some hopping veggies there. Two eggs going down just to kind of spice this up again. So this isn't part of their recipe. It's just me trying to, you know, spice it up, but also kind of uh, add to it, bulk it up a little bit. Because here goes the coleslaw mix, which this really made like a lot more. This helps stretch it into multiple meals. So I think that was a good call just by adding more cabbage to it. Um, you know, we're basically kind of like egg roll in a bowl here is what this is, uh, but with a kit. So pop the yolks on the eggs, flip them over here. Nice and smooth. Perfect. Perfect. That's wow. That is that is some really impressive egg flipping right there. It just looks like you have no idea what you're doing, Johnny. But anyways, so. Um, chop them up, doesn't matter, they're all getting chopped up. Mix them in there with the coleslaw, two spatulas. If you don't have two spatulas out, are you really even griddling? Like, how do you tell your neighbors you're better than them if you're not using two spatulas on your griddle? Then, oh, slow motion as we bring the meat and everything together. Wow, this is some high end stuff. Watch out, Steven Spielberg, I'm coming for you. Um, and after this, we're gonna mix in with the sauce. So now, Look, we bulked it up, so there's not a ton of sauce. So you could add more to this. You could add more soy sauce or something to it. But I was fine with this. I was fine with the ratio. I don't need a ton of sauce. And it's really, really sweet anyways. So I thought there was a plenty of sauce to veggie to meat ratio. I would definitely give this one a try. I thought it was a good kit, especially if you're going to customize it, add some stuff to it. And, uh, you know, I threw it into the Pyrex, and my wife and I ate it, took it to work for lunch the whole week. Next one is a Tyson stir fry kit, which was on sale. Look at me, I'm just killing it at the grocery store. 1061. Normally it's like 18 bucks. It comes with these two noodle packets that you gotta pop in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Um I don't think I'd do the microwave again next time. I'll tell you more later when you see them come back. Why? I was about 400, went a little hotter for this one. I think that's probably a better temperature, to be honest with you, than 350. Here goes down the meat that was in the packet. Again, it's like some sort of beef. It's probably nicer than ground beef. It's got some seasoning on it, but I didn't think it was like anything fantastic. And who knows? It's probably like some leftover beef. You know, it's probably not even a good part of the cow. So uh, it was just okay. It might even be like Philly cheesesteak, thinly sliced beef. I mean, it was some salt solution in there. So it was just okay. Avocado oil. There goes the veggies, which obviously that's probably why it was on sale. Those do not look super fresh, but hey, that's okay. We're going to work through this, folks. Um, definitely doesn't look as good as the coleslaw mix. More avocado oil. Then you can see from the microwave, the edges of these noodles got kind of like cooked too much and they're a little crispy. So next time I'd probably just put them in some boiling water maybe for 30 seconds 
and then throw them on the griddle and that would help loosen them up like this to, you know, make my whole like kind of stir fry mix. It all looks good. Noodles is a good way to spice it up. Now this sauce was better than the ginger sauce. I will say that. I really like this sauce better than the other sauce. It was more like a stir fry traditional sauce and maybe I just don't like ginger as much as I think I should. But this was good. Give it a mix together with the uh, tongs and the spatula. No double spatula. We're using the tongs on this one. Breaking out all the toys today, aren't we? Keep giving it all a huge mix together. It was very good. I don't think it was as good as the other one. I don't know if I'd do this again. Next time, I'd probably just buy my own noodles and try to wing it. Hope that's helpful. Let me know if you've done any kits and if you liked them. Keep on grilling, friends.